What's up ghouls? It's Blaze and welcome back to my channel. It's been a long ass time since I've said that. Um, I feel like this was the best choice to film a makeup video as my first one coming back because I don't film the intro until the end. So I've had a whole ass like hour of me chatting absolute shit to get me into the zone to film an intro. So here we are. It's been a hot minute. We discuss that later on in the video. This is a makeup tutorial um, based around the Lolita Pore Vida palette. I'm not gonna go into loads of detail about it and the shades and the cost and the quality and blah, 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 blah. This palette's been out for a long ass time at this point, so I'm sure there's about 600 million of those videos on the internet. I'll just give you a quick glimpse inside the palette and I will say it's one of my favorites. This is my one of my two go-tos, this and the Venus XL palette. I just think the shades are perfect, super cute. Love it so much, would recommend it to anybody. I know Kat Von D is a touchy subject for a lot of people, but I love the makeup, I think it's great. I think her makeup is so suited to alternative people and the packaging is cute, the quality is good and the shades are different and interesting and I love it. Um, yeah, so this is the, this is a tutorial on how I use the palette. Let's give you a quick look at my eyes. I really don't ever know what to do in these types of things. I'm just like, this is my face. Don't hate it. So in this video, we have a bit of a chat, a bit of a catch up, a where I've been, what I've been doing, what my plans are. I feel like I've done so many of these videos, but after not being on YouTube for a while, after quarantine, after the state of the world, 2020, it's good to have a check in. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. So let's transition to my horrendous unmakeup face. I'm just like jumping straight into it. And I'm so scared. Pumpkin, do you want to do it instead? I need to come and do the tutorial. So I'm just going to jump right in with the makeup and then we can get started on the talking aspect. I've got my basket of makeup and my two palettes basket courtesy of Kerry. Thanks gal. Oh it's so loud. So the first step of any makeup look I do is I start with the oh my god what are you called? Soap and Glory um, Sexy Mother Pucker Extreme Plump XL and I love this because it tastes like um, M&M's. It's delish. So the next thing I do is go in with the MUA Pro Base Primer Oil. It's got like little gold flakes in it. I feel fancy. Is that even, do you focus? Do you want to do that? Oh, okay. Here we go, professional YouTuber. It's the primer oil. Okay, so the next primer I use is the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer. I've been using this for years on my channel. Yes, it's the same one, pretty gross, but it's lasted a long ass time. Um, so I'm going to be annoyed when I have to rebuy it because it's like, I don't remember how much money, 20 pound, 20, I feel like 26, I have 26 in my head, don't know if that's accurate. Um, so I have my mirror here, so if I keep looking over there, that's why. Um, your girl's not logical enough to set up a perfect setup where I can look in the lens and see myself and not have to keep looking away. I'm not professional. Okay, so the foundation I'm going to use is the MUA Pro Base Longwear Foundation. I use the lightest shade, which is 101. Um, it's so pale. I freaking love it. Oh, I need to stop singing in these because I hate when I like watch this back and I'm like, stop embarrassing yourself. So there's a lot of things I wanted to talk about in this video and I don't know how I'm going to fit it all in. So I'll try. So the first thing is, I'm trying not to be too noisy because um, Jake works nights, so he is in bed asleep. So basically he's asleep and I don't want to be too loud because I obviously don't want to wake him up because I'd be fuming if he woke me up. Um, 
yeah, so that's the first thing I wanted to say. So I wanted to talk about a fact this is like the first video I filmed in Berlin vlog was my last video I did, but before that it had been a long time. So next up is concealer. I'm going to use two concealers. I've got um, the e.l.f. concealer and the Revolution concealer correct. The e.l.f. one is in Fair Beige, which I think is the lightest one I could find. And then the Revolution one is white. I like this one for the coverage and this one to make it even lighter because my foundation is so pale. Um, yeah, so it's been a very long time since I've sat and just filmed a video. Um, so forgive me, I'm all over the place, forget what I'm saying, I feel so awkward, um, yeah. I think about filming videos a lot, but I don't know, I, part of me thinks like I don't really have amazing like ideas and I don't want to just film like rubbish that no one wants to watch, but then at the same time I get people like, I miss your videos, I wish you'd upload, and my friends are like, why don't you do it, what's stopping you, like why aren't you uploading anymore and I do enjoy it I love sitting here and filming and like all the time I find myself thinking oh I should have filmed this or why didn't I film that or I definitely regret not filming videos and uploading them but I think part of it is I'm busy a lot so I work full time I'm studying as well um, alongside my job for a level five in HR. Um, so I'm going to powder my face. I'm gonna use the Kat Von D Locket Setting Powder in Translucent. But yeah, so I have not been filming. I've been wanting to film. The only other video I've done besides this one is um, I am renovating, renovating. I am sorting out my old bedroom at my mum's house. Um, so I've been filming the progress on that. I'm kind of at a standstill at the minute where I don't have a lot of time to go there um, but you'll see more about that in that video whenever that gets uploaded so my plan is to film more and post more because we're heading into spooky season now and that is the time that I come alive I feel like I just hibernate for like nine months of the year and then three months of autumn I'm like yes and I just get so happy so buzzing I love it, the weather's good, like it's not too hot, it's not cold, it's just this cute, crisp autumn weather. Um, there's obviously pumpkin everything everywhere, which is a dream. I don't know, I just feel like I'm in the best mood during autumn. So I just need to find somewhere in the world where it's like autumn or Halloween every day and live there. I'd be so happy. Next is Contour Old Faithful Shade and Light Palette. For all you pale ass bitches, I use this middle shade here, um, and I'm using the Kat Von D like angled brush thingy. It's probably got a name. What that name is, I don't know. This was from the 10th anniversary collection. I feel like since she sold the company, um, I literally haven't bought anything, and it's not because she sold the company. It's because I think they've brought one thing out the um one of the little quads eyeshadow quads and it was called like technicolor or so the shades were just vile it was like some weird bright neon ass 80s shit which it's not my vibe so yeah i haven't had to repurchase any products yet everything lasts so long okay so that is my contour done <laughs> absolutely god awful a contour but you know makes me look dead so that's the vibe so next up is my brows again Kat Von D sorry I love the packaging I love the makeup everything is the perfect shades for spooky half dead looking bitches so that's why literally half my makeup is Kat Von D because it's the only brand I feel that's accessible in the UK that caters to spooky people so yeah that's what I wanted to say about YouTube I've not been filming but I want to get back into it and I found a list on my notes thing on my phone of videos that I wanted to film and I wrote it sort of this time last year um, 
and then I obviously never got round to it but to be fair I was just about to start my level 5 this time last year so that's why I really wish I'd had quarantine to film um, I was thinking this this morning like a lot of people obviously I'm really grateful I didn't lose my job um, my partner Jake didn't lose his job either so we you know we didn't get furloughed we didn't have our wages cut we in fact I got a pay rise unrelated to quarantine um, but I know so many people were in such a difficult situation where they lost their jobs or their pay got cut or they had their hours cut and it, it must have been a really terrifying time for a lot of people and then on top of that dealing with like if a loved one was sick or if a loved one passed away um, so for some people this probably has been a really really like horrific time um, I'm like I said I'm really fortunate neither of us lost our jobs um, no one I know has had coronavirus or has passed away from it so I know I'm super super lucky um, but I was sort of envious of people who you know had this time where they you know you've got all day every day to yourself I mean it sounds nice when you think like when you say it but in reality it probably is like I said a lot of fear worry anxiety probably a lot of boredom but I would have loved to have had that time to just focus on YouTube and my blog and things like that. So, so I'm going to start on the eyes now. So obviously the eyes were the whole point of this video. So this is the Lolita Pore Vida palette. Obviously the name is very questionable, I'm aware of that, um, but I love this palette. So I got this for my last birthday from my mum, oh, it's just so beautiful. These are like... The, when I don't know what I like to do I always sort of swing towards these sort of deeper reddy pinky maroony I don't really know type shades so I love that this because it has these thick or this thick pigmented like glitter shade which I love it feels so weird in the pan but I use that every single time after Luna Oh, can we just talk about the beauty of Luna? So I'm going to start with a fluffy-ish brush. This is from Real Techniques, it's a base shadow brush. And I'm gonna take, oh my god, see I don't speak Spanish, I really don't know how to pronounce these. Muneca, 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 M I don't know. I'm taking this shade here. So I'm gonna start by just putting that um, in my crease and the outer corner of my eye. Um, and it's just going to serve as a base for this look. But now you're all going to see that I can't actually do makeup and it's been a lie this whole time. But 2020 has just been such a horrible, horrible year. Um, but hopefully a lot of good is going to come out of it. Um, I feel like people are starting to wake up and see that the way that things are going now isn't you know, we can't carry on in terms of like the, the racial movements and the way that black people have been treated is disgusting and how racism is continuing in modern day is baffling to me and it, yeah, it's just horrendous and I'm really hoping that we see a lot of change from this and I hope that um, there's justice for everyone who's been affected by it, the families of people who've been affected by it, I hope there's justice for the victims of it. I sincerely do. Um, you know, we've had fires, we've had earthquakes, we've had storms, there's been so much horribleness in 2020 that yeah, this year has not been a good year. Okay, let's go with this one. Uh, Real Techniques Domed Shadow Brush. And I'm going to start with the Lolita Pour Vida shade down here in the corner. There's not really a technique to this, to be quite honest. I'm pretty much just going to go on the outer corner and blend it into the crease. But yeah, so one thing 
I had a lot of goals for 2020. Um, I'm sorry, keep interrupting. I'm gonna go back with the original brush and sort of just keep blending back and forth until I am happy with the mess of colour on my eye. Um, yes, I had a lot of goals for 2020 um, in terms of like career goals. I had goals in terms of witchy goals. So celebrate every single Sabbath, um, which I always seem to struggle to find time for things like that, to be able to celebrate the full moons. Um, build a witchy daily routine that is realistic and that I'm happy with. Um, I had personal goals like clearing debts and learning to drive and finishing tattoos that I'd started. Um, I had goals like reading a certain amount of books and had like appearance wise goals stretching my ears, losing weight, and I feel like this has been the year that sort of nobody expected, but I feel like there's things that can come out of this year. So, right, I'm gonna grab the Kat Von D Shade and Light brush, and I'm going to go in with Karuno, I'm not quite sure. Um, which is this deep shade here and I'm going to be popping that in the outer corner of my eye to sort of deepen that. These pigments, these paints, these shades are so pigmented that sometimes I forget and I go in so heavy handed and ruin the whole thing which is so fun. Um, yeah, so I feel like the rest of this year I just want to slow down. So I think that's one thing that 2020 has taught a lot of us is we need to step back, assess everything, personally, globally, we just need to stop and look at what we're doing, why we're doing it, and to sort of change courses and focus on the things that are really important to us. So my plan for the rest of this year is to reevaluate what I'm doing and why. And I want to use this time to cleanse, to heal, and then to build a good foundation for 2021 so that I can be on track, know what I want, know what I'm doing, and get to a better place. I feel like my biggest focus is spiritually, like in terms of witchcraft, I want to do, I, I'm going to use the rest of this year for a lot of shadow work, for a lot of cleansing, healing, and like I said, building a routine, building a good foundation in terms of meditating, in terms of yoga, in terms of um, grounding, research, I just want to do so much research, <laughs> this video got so deep, but you know, that's okay. Um, that's my plan for this, the rest of this year, so I think I might do a more in-depth video, um, like a witchy type one of how I'm going to achieve that, what I'm going to do, what resources I'm using, so if you're interested in that, keep an eye out for that. So I'm going to grab the black shade from the Shade and Light palette on that same Shade and Light brush, and I'm just going to put the tiniest bit in just to really darken up that outer corner and give it a bit of definition. Um, so I'd like to know what kind of plans you guys have for the rest of this year. I know things are opening up more. Um, I don't want to risk going abroad yet. I don't feel safe enough to go abroad. Um, I'm traveling to Wigan at the end of this month, beginning of September. Um, I know they have been in a lockdown, but they will be out of it by the time I go. I'm going to go in with Esperanza, maybe that's how you say it, this shade here. I'm going to be popping that on the lid where I've not put any colour. Um, and I'm using a Furless Pro 2E, um, which is the It's Likely Makeup collab. 
and I'm just literally just brushing that in just so I've got a base. You could probably cut the crease here, um, but I'm not that fancy. And then I'm going to take this beautiful shade, Raina. I think it is the big chunky glittery one. I'm just going to use my finger for that and I'm going to pop it where I've just put Esperanza. And I just pat that on. That's so pretty. I don't know if you can even see it on camera, but it's so pretty. Then I'm going to take the NYX number 15 brush, it's just a tiny little like shadowy brush and I'm going to grab the Luna shade, the highlight one and I'm going to pop that on my inner corners and on my brow bone. This shade is really like foily, kind of reminds me of the Colourpop highlighters. So I feel like sometimes it maybe just works best if you just use your finger. Um, then I'm going to take my favourite eyeliner, the NYX Epic Ink Liner. I'm going to grab the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and pop that on my upper lashes. Okay, so we stopped recording, don't know why, hopefully we didn't miss too much. Um, and then I'm going to grab the Essence Lash Princess. I feel like there's different ones. This is just the green one. Um, and I'm gonna, just going to use that for my lower lashes because I feel like the wand is a good size flat, whereas the other wand is very clumpy. I really hate my mascara face, so just, you know, don't look. And then I brought two lip options because I didn't know what I was going to go for. So we've got matte a matte option which is just Lolita in the Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks or we've got Glitzy option which is the Lolita Everlasting Glimmer Veil. Um, I feel like you have to build this Glimmer Veil up a little bit so I tend to do two coats. So the last thing I'm going to do is, oh I can't open it, use the Kat Von D Metal Crush Highlighter in Gold School which is the 10th anniversary one which I'm pretty sure this was a limited edition one but I love the shade it's just so gold and so perfect for this look and I'm using the Kat Von D brush um, from the 10th anniversary thing I feel like you know it's, everything in this look is Kat Von D but can't help it so that is my look let's take this button down I feel I've talked for too long in this video already, so thank you for sticking with it. If you got to the end, you are a saint. Um, I know that a lot of people don't like Kat Von D and it's a very touchy subject for some, so hopefully this video isn't too like controversial because I know I've used a lot of those products. Um, Thank you so much for staying subscribed while I've not uploaded. I think we're at like 15,000 and something, which is wild. So thank you so much for staying subscribed while I've been absent. And I really am trying. I know I say that at the end of every video. I'm really going to try to upload more content, but I really am because I do miss filming. I love it so much. It's such a good creative outlet. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and sticking with me. And until next time, ghouls. Stay spooky, stay rad, and get in the autumn spirit with me. Yay, autumn friends. Okay, love you all. Bye.